I'm Caroline Granada with DiscountMugs.com and today's do-it-yourself will be on Halloween favors. Now we all know how much fun kids can have during this time of year, but adults can have fun too. So if you're planning an unforgettable Halloween party, you will love my do-it-yourself ideas. So let's get started. For our first item, we have 66426, the 19.25 ounce vintage balloon wine glass. So my list of items are some real creepy skeleton hands, spider webs, a fake spider, tape, and candy. All right, so the first thing you're gonna do is grab these scary little skeleton hands, put them inside your wine glass, just like that. Now what we wanna do here is kind of create a little candy jar. So we're gonna grab some of this candy, just throw it in there, and that should be enough. Next, we're just gonna grab the spider web. You could also use tape, it's optional. If you find that it's easier for you, then you could put it right here under the glass and it will kind of just hold your spider web in place. Then you just want to try to just stretch it all the way down to the bottom of the stem. Just kind of create that scary little spider nest. Once you have your spider web all around the glass like that, you just kind of want to grab your little spider friend here and find a nice spot for him at the edge and let him just hang out and there you go. And so you, here you have some great little candy jars inside a wine glass and I think this would make a wonderful party favor for any party. Next we have item H7672, the 19.25 ounce Bola Tulip wine glass. And this is what you're going to need. Wrapping paper, tape, pipe cleaners, black glass paint, a brush, and candy. So this is definitely probably the cutest party favor that I have for you. So basically the first thing we're gonna do is make our little candy pouch. Just grab a handful of candy, put it right in the middle. Here you have your little bag full of candy. So let's just put that aside for right now. That's going to be towards the end. I'm using chalkboard paint here but usually any type of acrylic black paint will do perfectly, especially for glass. And you're gonna get a piece of tape, just like this, and you're gonna place it right here on top for when you do Frankenstein's hair. And once you get that outline of the hair, just fill it in. And since I'm using chalk paint for this, you can also put someone's name on top of his head right there and I think that would also make another cute little touch for this little party favor. Now you just want to kind of do his eyes, just two little round dots. And since I made the other one look kind of grumpy, we'll do a nice smiley face for this one. We'll give him a really nice smile. set Mr. Frankenstein aside and basically what we're gonna do is just twist these two just like that all the way down you start from the bottom you want to leave a little out just like that so you kind of twist that as well so you close it and start twisting. So once you're done with your little Frankenstein dude, you just put this little pouch of candy in there. And now you could really see his face. I also put a little charm on this one. Now, if you find a little spider charm or something really creepy that you could add on, you could definitely just clean that right into the little pipe cleaner there and it'll be perfect. And it just makes an incredible party favor as well. And 
It doesn't take very much to do. So here you go, my angry and happy little Frankenstein dudes. And for our last item, for 5558s, the 19.25 ounce Arc Connoisseur wine glass. And the only thing you're going to need for this is red glass paint and a brush. Now this is going to be the most simple and quick idea that I have for you today. And it's probably the scariest one. What we're gonna do is put blood on this wine glass. Sounds scary, but it looks really cool. The first thing we're gonna do is put the glass upside down, drop some paint along the bottom of your glass. And you kinda just wanna cover up that part of the stem that doesn't have that red on it. And now little by little, you're gonna start creating a drip. And at some point, if you feel like you need to add paint, go for it. One more drip right here, a few specks here and there, and once it dries, it will look just like that. See the cute Frankenstein was sweet, I wanted to give you some different ideas and not make everything so cute. And voila, here you have your blood white wine glasses for your scary Halloween party. Well, I hope you liked all of my do-it-yourself ideas. And remember, you can get all of these wine glasses customized with your logo, artwork, or text. There's also a large selection of Halloween clip arts that you could choose from at DiscountMugs.com. I'm Caroline Granado, and on behalf of everyone here at DiscountMugs.com, we hope you have a happy and safe Halloween.